Alright, so this is what I do every week. I open up my email and see that I have lyrics for what songs we're going to be singing on Sunday. So I will save the PDF. Which is right here. I'll open up in preview. See what songs we're going to sing on Sunday. We're going to start with Song of Hope. So I'll open up Pro Presenter. See if I have that song already or if I have to add it to the collection. So I'll just start typing Song of. Oh, and I already have entered it. So I'll add it to the top of this playlist here. Oddly, seems like there's a missing image. I'll go to edit the slide. IMG0583. IMG0583. Let's see where we can find that. I think I'll just use this image and replace it. I must have gotten rid of the other one because it had too much, too many light colors before. Okay, so here's Song of Hope. Command S to save the edits I needed to do. Let's see what our next song is. Light the fire again. So I'll type that in. L I G H T. And we have that one already too. I'll put that after announcements. Let's see what we've got coming up next. Open up the sky. I don't know if we've gotten that one before. I'll check it out. Open. Oh, we do. All right. Fourth song, Glorious Day. G L O R. We do have Glorious Day. Okay. And for the fifth song, Worshipping You. W O R S H I. PP. And we have that song too. Easy enough. Um, and number six, we usually do five songs a week. Uh, six is Everyone Praises, which I think is a new song. If I remember the email correctly, let's double check. The one at the end is a new one, and we'll sing it next week. Okay. So I can add this, and it'll be ready for next week's presentation. So how do we do that? How do we make our own song slide? Well, we can just select all this text here and copy it. And then I'll launch text edit, which is my text editor of choice for plain text and paste the text there. That way we can remove um, formatting that we really don't need for everyone who wants to know the words to the song as they sing it or are learning it. Select and delete. Remove these. 
I'll leave the verse one. Um, so that we can know where we are in the song. I'm selecting and hitting return in between here. So that all we have is each line of text separated by returns and only a space between verses things that we want to have on separate lines or um, slides. I'll put a space paragraph return here. Sometimes it can seem pretty tricky to see where everything breaks. Make sure we don't leave a letter in there. We don't need things like everyone repeat. Uh, maybe. I don't know if that's lyrics or or what it is. If ever in doubt, leave it in. Select, return, select, return. This all may seem very boring, but that's what you signed up for, I believe. Don't need instructions like repeat chorus two times because you never know what everyone's going to be doing. Instrumental bridge. Return. Return. And we'll remove these dashes because they're really just there for formatting so that the tabs line up the chords that the musicians will be playing. Oops. So we've got title, artist, verse one, chorus, verse two, instrumental, bridge. We'll actually leave the instrumental out because nothing to put on the screen for that. So now that we have this all formatted, we don't have any unnecessary spaces. We can praises to the one who saves us. Through his blood he gave us his life and now we come. Everyone. Repeat. Now I don't know if everyone is lyric or if it's saying everyone repeat or if the lyric gets repeated. So this is where some detective work um, might come in handy. So I can Look up Everyone Praises, written by Desperation Band. Search for that in Google. I'm going to watch the video. See if we can catch the chorus. As we're doing this, can look at the lyrics and double check. I'll close preview since we've got all the text ready to go. And we'll watch the video. Everyone 
Well, that was simple. Everyone is a lyric, and we're just repeating the chorus habitually. So that's cool. Now that we have that there, I can select this text, copy it, and then in ProPresenter, I'll just say File, Import, Copied Text into currently um, into library actually. We'll use the paragraph break as the cue for a new slide and hit continue. And then I'll select this because I like to have it to be capitalized, but not over capitalized. Everyone praises. It didn't split on the paragraph break, oddly, so let's do some edits. This is a song. Um, we want the copyright to be in there. And if we make the time to put a roadmap in there, then we can do that. Right now, we just put a question mark. I'm going to select this text that says written by desperation band do command X to cut it and we'll paste that in the artist I don't know the publishing year so we'll leave that out now since it didn't break automatically which seems unusual to me usually it that should work. Um, you just put the cursor after what you want to be last on the slide before. Hit Option and Return. And it makes a new slide with the rest. Then we can remove any extra spacing. Put the cursor at the last word. Option, Return. Notice I'm leaving chorus and verse in the beginning of this just because I don't want to lose track of what is what. So down here I'll give it a label of bridge. And this one's verse 2, so we'll label it verse 2. This one's a chorus, so we'll label it chorus. These are all custom labels that I've made in ProPresenter. You can have your own system, but I like to be consistent. The more thinking we do here, the less we have to do during a live Sunday morning. This is a title. So everyone praises. Now the title I want to align to the center, adjust to fit, and make it a, maybe a third from the top. Oh, actually, I am not a fan of all caps either, so I'll select all, transform it to capitalize. While we're there, select it all, command plus, couple times to make it larger unless you prefer using the size thing here I like to visually arrange things oops everything gets snapped to the center so we're removing the labels hopefully without repositioning everything uh, there's an H there oddly Okay, everyone. Verse 2, I'm doing the same thing. Huh, there's an H here too. Okay, so now if we want to correct any formatting, if something seems awkward, or we just want to phrase it differently. We will... For some reason, uh, I was told to capitalize the first letter of each line. Capitalize any word that refers to God. And um, so I've carried on that tradition.
Sometimes I just break where I might make a take a breath as I'm singing. Great and splendor, Lord of everything, worthy is your name, never changing, ever in king. With your name, all creation rises up to declare your wonders. So I will return. People everywhere sing. Okay. So that's the text. It's a song. It's not actually in the lineup for this week, but I'm just adding it. Minimize that. And we want to throw an image for the background to dress things up a little bit. Everyone praises, so we're singing praise to God. I'll switch to a thumbnail view. I think what do we want to do? Let's hold down the command key and then click and drag and it'll automatically make this a cue. So as they're singing, you can right arrow through the lyrics and see that looks just fine. So I'll close the video image bin and hit command. If you notice here the the icon is orangish yellow and if you do command S to save it makes it blue. That means everything's locked in. You don't have to worry about losing those changes. Okay, so that that's song number one. Song number two, song number three, song number four, and song number five. You've noticed the way that we do things at Summit Church, we have announcements right after song one, and offering is after the last song, and before the sermon, which we haven't added yet. So all of our music seems to be queued up right. They're multicolored labels. Everything's current. Okay. So now that we've done that, it also helps to keep your inbox empty so that when you get these you can use your inbox as a to-do list. So now we've got all this music done so I can delete that email or archive it, archive it if you have Gmail. And now I see Pastor Chris's message notes that he sent. As a courtesy he stopped sending it as a Word document or docx which kinda messes up some formatting. So now I'm uh, gonna in my next tutorial I'm gonna show you how we put together the sermon slide